Hello, good day. This is Kent. A client asked me about how to solve this question where um, there are three types of uh, calculations. Right. Uh, it depends on the usage range. So if the usage is below or equal to 9999, then it will charge according to these formulas. So, in other words, the minimum the charge is ten thousand per month. Okay, so um, so it's not nine 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 or below, right? It's actually ten thousands or below. And for this, is that. It will charge uh, one 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 right. So this is the uh, information that the client give me, but then uh, it is not right. So uh, in Excel we don't read such a way, right? It's not nine 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 below. Is that um, ten thousands below? So this has to change. Uh, later I change that, and um, we minimum charge per thousand. As for this, it start from. 001 right because 10,000 will charge in such a way but uh, 111 will charge in such a way so uh, we're charging so let's say uh, the usage is 111111 then it will charge according to this because it fall under this range right it's not exceeding 12000 but as for those who are um, those usage that are more than that, more than 12,000, uh, right? Then it will charge according to this formula. So, for example, this is one. So, let's say I have uh, three types of um, usage, or three usage, right? So, in this, if um, so this is usage and we now have to take a look at this right whether it's this or this or this so one four zero zero uh one four zero five one right so let's let's just change it to one two three right so one 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 two three will fall under the second situation as for one four one five is exceeding one two zero 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 so it will be under the third as for the and for this 9248, it will fall um, in the here. So, how to write a formula that uh, will consider either one of these situations? We use a nested if. So, the final nested if will be like this, right? Except the 9999 should be changing to uh, 10,000 because um, this is not right at the first place, right? Um, so we write a formula of quite long formulas. So let's now break it down into one right. Let's assume that there is only one situation, then this is what happened, right? So that means uh it is actually uh ten thousand usage ten thousand and um this has to change to we use a if function that check this right so now what is that is that it check is it below or equal to 10,000 if that is the case right they will use 10,000 times i6 i6 is actually the value of the first rate 0 0.21 so you can also replace this with um, they are about the same right so the i6 is actually 0.21 that is a rate so if anything that is not below or below 10,000 10, right then we use other formulas to calculate so if doing this right then we can check so we know that these two are not fall under the first situation so we have still two more situations to consider so I could change this as well. Okay, ten thousand and uh, double click. Right. So let's look at step two. 
So step two, right? Let's let's just take a look at um that we we'll only consider that we we'll only charge if it's between this, right? Let, let's say that is a case, then we can use the if function. The if function tells you that, right? So we check this. So if it's fall under between this range, we use a if function. So we say um is the usage is greater than ten thousand, greater than ten thousand, uh, and also at the same time less than twelve thousand. So that is a range, ten thousands to twelve thousand. So that is a range. If we fall under the range, we we do the calculation. Otherwise, we say that they are not within that usage range. So take for the example here, we check this range. Right? So we know that first. First example, um, this is the first truck, right, will need to be calculated, but the other two are not, right? So we use that. So remember the last in the step one, right, we have the else use formulas. So this is the part where we want to calculate. So if it's not below 10,000, it's not below 10,000, then it will be. Uh, either between 10,000 and 12,000 or exceeding 12,000. So let's just look a look at this. So if it's not between this, then it will be this. Let's say there's only two calculation method, then we will say that, okay, so in the else use, right, we're going to replace it with this. So, but before that, right, I would actually, uh, because, because this bracket belongs to the first if function. Now this is called the if if function, right? So uh, it's still not enough. So we gotta use this to replace with this. You see that the else is now replaced with the entire if, and this equal sign is not needed because we have this here. So to write these formulas. We type if the hash six hash is the cell reference that represents the usage for the first trunk and um, the first we check the first situation whether it's fall under this first situation so uh, then 0 0.21 right is referring to the first rate now otherwise if it's not fall under the first rate then there's only second situation in this step two we only consider two situations so the next one would be this. Now, so now we have uh, this situation. So we fall under this. So um, this shouldn't be calculated. Let's see. Um, we did not do a checking. Right within the check is it less than equal to ten thousand? Okay, and uh, we double click right. So this is not for under that because this middle one right is neither this or this right. It is not less than nine thousand, and also it's not less uh, not within that range. So the third one will fall under the the last situation. Okay, anything that is not below this and not that, right? So that it will use the third calculation. So let's go to the step three. The step three is right. Will need to consider if it's not this situation, not that situation, then it will be the last one. So we add and we add the third calculation right here. So this is the third calculations method. So we have. This we understand the thing, right? I hope you understand. Uh, if not, write write me which part you don't understand, right? And um, we have the third part. The third part is basically check uh to because it's not fall under the first and not the second. The automatic the the, the first path here. That's the first 
the fourth part here else use the third formula so we're going to replace with the third formula so the third formula says that right uh, times 0 0.21 plus the second rate so that's how we get that okay so you can see that if it's fall under the third part this is uh, the these are all the third parts, right? So, um, we times this, then this, but then for this, right, we will use uh, this. Well, basically, that uh, these two formulas are the same. So, you can see that uh, they are not really the same. Let's see what well, makes them not the same. Okay, so um, that is one right, and um, while I'm recording, I find out that uh, these two can actually combine as one because it regardless whether they are these or this. No, they can't because they still need to change that. Well, how about that? As long as it's below that, below 12,000, they will all charge the same. So I guess, I guess they are the third, not a fourth step. I think it is not needed to have this, right? Although I, uh, there are two, two level of ranging unless their charge are different right if it's say if it's uh, 10,000 below right and it charge a, a different rate then we need that if they are both the same right then we don't really need this right? we can just say um, um, if anything below 12,000 right then uh, we use this rate because you can see that these value are the same so we're going to use that to say um, the same rate but if it's more then we use this so we don't need a nest nested if but just a normal if would do I guess that should be the way yeah so um, oh yeah by the way uh, these formulas are slightly not right because the uh, 10,000 is just my estimate uh, I did not use the right usage okay so uh, so you can see that using this uh, nested if we got 1, 3, 2, 2, 6, 2, and 2, 1, 9, 4, 2 right and uh, here is the same see that they are same now I can combine that so it's not necessarily needed uh, three levels of calculation so although it says there are three situations, but the first situation, the second situation, they charge the same rate, only then it comes to the third. So we just use a simple if function will do. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learn how to use the if function in your daily work. And thanks for my clients who are uh, asking this question. Thank you very much. Thank you.